What is going on, my gingerbread brothers and sisters? We are back at it again today. Halo, the Master Chief Collection. Of course, Halo Reach is the only thing out so far. However, I have had a few people comment on my videos asking me how to do certain things in the um, menu, and understandably so. It is rather confusing. Um, but thanks to playing for quite a lot and Reddit and Halo Waypoint, um, I've got most, if not all, of the answers, um, and I just wanted to make a quick video to show just some things that aren't necessarily explained, so let's just get into it, hop right in here. Alright, um, we'll start with campaigns. Firstly, I've seen people talking about, they, I guess they weren't following uh, 343 during this last year um, none of these campaigns are available yet uh, Halo Reach is the only one these will come out in order that you see them here uh, one after the other until Halo Infinite comes out I do believe um, so we have Halo Reach the next one's gonna come out is Halo uh, Combat Evolved then Halo 2, 3, ODST, and 4 uh, I'm not sure what this is but We'll get to that some other time. So you can only play Halo Reach right now. You can quick start. It's going to start a, uh, a brand new game for you. Missions lets you start any of the missions you've already completed. See all of them here. And from whichever main checkpoint you want. Uh, so we got that. On top of that, there's play playlists, uh, which have some, like, I don't know, they're like cool little challenge type things. Uh, so you got Lasso, that's Legendary All Skulls On, so it just automatically puts that in there for you. Uh, I would not suggest doing this if you're new to the game, if you're new to Halo, if you're new to FPSs, and I would not suggest doing it by yourself. I'm sure you could. But I would just recommend it's it prob it's probably going to be more fun if you have extra people, uh, especially because of uh, one of the skulls makes it to where if you die it restarts the mission. But if you have a a friend, it, uh, it'll just I think it just restarts the the um, checkpoint. We'll go over that here in a second too. So if we go to missions, hit one of them here. You choose which uh, thing you want here. There's options here, uh, and you can have no, nothing extra here. Scoring, it'll have the medals displayed over here on the left side of your screen. So if you get like a double kill against two grunts, it'll it'll have double kill right here, but it won't announce it. So anything, you get a headshot, it'll have the little medal here. Um, you'll also see little points flying off the uh, the enemies. Uh, and down here in the bottom right, you, right down here, uh, you'll see how many points you have for the mission. And if you're playing co-op, it should, I, I haven't played co-op yet, but uh, if you're playing co-op at the end of the mission, it should tell you everyone's scores. I know it will definitely tell you yours, and then you can compare and see how many kills you all got, and it tells you how many uh, of each enemy type you killed. It's, it's really cool. Time just show. I, I don't use time uh, uh, because I've got re a recording software on my second monitor, so I already know how long I've been in the thing. I just don't want anything else on my hood. But that'll put a clock somewhere on your hood, like a, a small clock just tells you how long you've been in the match. And then competitive score and competitive time. I'd have to experiment with those. I'm sure that has something to do with uh, co-op, though. If you're uh, if you're trying to uh, see which one of you are the best, I'm not, or who did the most. Anyways, you accept that. Okay. Then you can select your difficulties, easy. Uh, it's gonna be easy normal is normal heroic is like hard 
and legendary is like brutal or expert or veteran or whatever the the step above hard is and your flavor of dialogue uh, heroic in, I believe in one of the halo games it mentions heroic is the way that halo is meant to be played um, I'd have to agree it's challenging it's fun there's some BS but then you can still feel pretty great when you're playing it and you notice each one of these has a score multiplier so if you play on easy you're getting times 0.25 so you're only getting one quarter of the normal XP so if you say you kill a um, a jackal instead of getting 100 XP like normal you'd only get 25 or points I mean on normal it's just a flat rate that that one jackal is gonna be 100 points no matter what heroic is at two times so that one jackal will be worth 200 points and legendary is four times if you're really wanting to beef up your score and just see how, how much you can get legendary is gonna be where it's at you're gonna get four times the amount of points for anything that gives you points all right so we'll choose that now actually you know what let's go back one let's put it on legendary all right all right so these are the skulls I used on my heroic solo playthrough uh, the ones that are highlighted we'll start with the non scoring ones first uh, these don't affect your score multiplier at all you've got cowbell which uh, makes explosions greater and you will definitely notice a difference and it's explosions from any source a grenade blowing up a vehicle blowing up tank shells all that good stuff grunt birthday is a skull that's everywhere it's the thing where if you headshot a grunt you hear a little like a little little kids go yay and uh, confetti pops out um, this IWH BYD is I believe I've always called it I would have been your daddy I'm pretty sure that's what it is um, it makes di uh, dialogue in the game that is typically rare m more frequent um, I like it because I like dialogue all right over here we have black eye now these will increase your score multiplier so we have black eye which means your shield will not regenerate until you melee something so if you have half your shields it will not go up until you melee something if you lose your shields you will not have shields until you melee something blind uh, ta it makes it like a hardcore mode in Call of Duty I guess it takes away your HUD your heads up display so you won't have your health I don't think it'll show your health um, you won't well you definitely won't have ammo you won't have uh, your armor ability or your radar right is that you, okay you might still have your radar heads up display ammo count basically that's just gonna make it uh, less stuff on your screen uh, catch I, this is one of the ones I use enemies throw and drop more grenades and I cannot stress to you the insane amount of grenades I swear to God, over half my deaths in my uh, heroic playthrough was me getting blown up by grenades, or me accidentally shooting grenades in the air, or blowing up or killing someone that was about to throw a grenade and that grenade drops and there's like 10 grenades on the ground and it causes a chain reaction of explosions and I blow up, or I just blow up and blow up and blow up. <laughs> there will be a lot of grenades. If you like throwing grenades, or if you want to practice um, uh, sticking, like using stickies, this is definitely a, a thing you want to turn on because there will be a ton of opportunities to stick. Okay, iron. Death carries a heavy price. Dying in co-op resets you after at your last saved checkpoint. Dying solo restarts the level. Yeah, so I had that right. This is... 
probably the biggest frustrator for anyone trying to complete lasso because this it's like you do all this hard work and you just have to restart that's why co-op is probably the way to go because it, it's way better to start from a checkpoint than having to restart an entire level cloud turns off your motion sensor there's just nothing down here in the left corner at all so if you don't have good combat awareness or you don't have a headset or something and you really rely on the motion tracker this is gonna be a tough one for you uh, famine makes all the ammo that the uh, bots or the enemies or the a uh, any AI honestly or Marines or anyone it only drops half the amount of ammo so you gotta really aim for the head try to get some melee kills which kind of balances that right there you know if, if you want to conserve your ammo for a a fight you think is gonna happen or a place where you need to hold 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 your ground uh, you know use the melee uh, mythic enemies have increased health I don't know how much more health but it's a lot I, I'd, I'd have to say it's at least 50% more health it is crazy it, how much more health uh, <laughs> these guys get uh, Thunderstorm is another skull I like to have activated. Uh, it upgrades the rank of most enemies, so you'll instead of seeing like regular elites, you'll almost always see elite ultras or higher. Uh, so they'll have more health, they'll deal more, more damage. Uh, they're I guess they're smarter. Uh, Any they'll dodge more frequently. Their sheet, they have more shields, and you'll see, you know, that works for every enemy, or most enemies, it says right there, most enemies. Okay, I don't think jackals really have ranks. Grunts definitely do. You'll see a lot more grunts carrying freaking fuel rod guns and crap like that. But that's a good one, I like that. Because, I mean, honestly, if, if you're just aiming for the head and stuff, it's not that big of a deal. And then, tilt. Enemy resistances and weaknesses are increased. Uh, so the things that they're already strong against, they're going to be even stronger against it. But the things that they're weak against, they're also going to be even weaker against that. Um, so you can activate all these and it'll increase your score multiplier by a lot. So. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So by 1.5 more percent. So accepts goals. You'll see here. Uh, oh, it adds another one on each one of those. So if you're playing Le uh, Lasso, Legendary All Skulls On, you're getting 15.79 times experience. So that one jackal that used to be 100 points is now worth uh, 1,579 points. But that one jackal is going to be crazy strong to deal with. I, I plan on doing this co-op. And I'll have a playthrough posted on that too. Alright, this is basically everything to do with campaign. Also, uh, you don't earn XP for campaign. Like you did in uh, Reach back, in, back when it released in 2010. But there's really no reason to earn XP because your XP level does not dictate your armor unlocks because um, you just need the, the uh, rank up points to get your armor and they should be coming out with challenges and stuff so that you can get extra points so you don't have to actually make it to love rank 100 uh, to get all your points so that's that all right multiplayer social games that's you're gonna be your standard matchmaking custom games is if you want to make private lobbies competitive games if you're looking for invasion this is the only place to find it Halo Reach invasion so and team hardcore uh, and you can see the description here no sprint no bloom and bloom is uh when you shoot your weapon and the uh, reticle gets bigger and bigger 
and no motion sensor, just you, your DMR, and your team based off MLG V7 settings. And you can just Google MLG V7 uh, reach settings and someone's posted it on either Reddit or uh, Halo Waypoint. Basically, this is where you want to go if you're looking for competitive play, uh, play style. And then Invasion uh, is just the bee's knees, man. If you haven't tried Invasion yet, go do it. You'll be doing yourself a favor. That is probably the best game type ever. Uh, it's, it's Spartans versus Elites, teams of six. Um, you can either play the objective or you can just go for kills. It, it's just... This is the Halo Reach experience right here. I freaking love Invasion. And you'll find a lot of people do. Okay. And then, so social games. Okay, so we'll start... Over here at... Team Doubles. Okay, so first of all, game presets. Alright, Team Doubles is going to have... You and one other person against two other people. Uh, and right now, none of the other games are available. You can't click on them, so it's only going to be Halo Reach. The, uh, and this is on PC, by the way. So, I don't know if this is different for the Xbox, but for PC, that's it. Uh, it's going to have every game type that's uh, highlighted here. So, you got Slayer, which is just killing each other. Flag and bombs, capture the flag, assault, stockpile, and ricochet. I've never played ricochet. It sounds interesting though. Um, zone control, which is king of the hill territories, extraction and domination. I've never played extraction either, or do dominion. Uh, territories is a lot of fun. It's like king of the hill, but you take turns. I, I guess it's fun. It's fun. And then asset denial is oddball, headhunter, VIP, and regicide. I've only, actually, I've only ever played these two, Oddball and Headhunter. Um, so, if you like the objective modes, but you don't want to just kill, you just untick Slayer. However, if you hate playing objective games, just untick those, and it will only put you in lobbies that has Slayer. Alright, it does not explain this anywhere, that's why I'm going over it. Alright. Okay, and then, okay, team doubles, and then you go up to Slayer, Slayer is what Slayer is, you just kill each other, it's teams of four against teams of four, it's only got this check mark, objective, it only has the objective types, 4v4s, and of course you can take one off, put one on, just like that if you want to. Alright, action sack. Teams of four. This is a uh, Fiesta, Heavies, and game specific mini games and modes. Um, so, Fiesta is you spawn in with random weapons. Everyone on the team spawns in with random weapons, and every time you die, you get new weapons. And of course, you can pick up weapons that other people drop. This is a ton of fun. Like, you think you're, you're just gonna spawn with, like, a, a plasma pistol and. Uh, like a plasma repeater every time and they get lame loadouts, but no you spawn with you spawn with power weapons quite often you, you know uh, there's there's one point I spawned in with uh, with a gravity hammer and a sniper like five times in a row it's just totally random but that is a ton of fun and heavies is like all heavy weapons all right SWAT <laughs> this is a good place to practice if you want to do the competitive playlist this is just like Slayer uh, the only difference is there's no shields, there's no radar, and there's no ordnance. You get your DMR, and I think a pistol too, and headshots or one-shot kills. That's, that's pretty much it, you know? This is a good place to practice aiming, you know? Uh, and then, let's see here. Snipers, that's what that says it is. It's a game type where there's only sniper rifles. You have infinite ammo, not a bottomless clip, you still have to reload every four shots, but you have infinite ammo, no secondaries, um, and there's no motion tracker. 
so there you go. That's that's fun. To, that's good for uh, aiming as well. I prefer this over this. I I just never really liked SWAT. If I'm gonna practice aiming, I'll go to snipers. Uh, Rumble Pit is fun. That's free for all. Of course, it has all these different game types here. Uh, King of the Hill. Uh, it's gonna be fun. Slayer. Snipers, all that good stuff. And you can actually party up. So me and my friend have partied up and done free for all. We don't exploit it. Uh, you know, we don't team up. Uh, so if you have eight friends and you wanna earn uh, earn points, see so you see max party size eight, you can you can actually earn XP and level up without being in a custom game. Uh, infection is another one of my favorite things. It's uh, three people start out most of the time. I think it might be a specific, specific one. Uh, I'm not sure. Every time I've played, it's been alpha zombies. So three people spawn in as red sp Spartans, and they have unlimited sprint and higher movement speed, and uh, and energy uh, energy swords. They run at people and try to kill them and turn them into an infected infected have i believe a, a slightly higher movement speed but they don't have unlimited sprint and the, uh, they're green you'll you'll know the alphas versus the regulars because they'll be red and green uh and uh survivors are totally uh whatever color scheme that they choose on their spartan and they have shotguns and magnums this is a fun game type too my one of my favorites this is the only like team based one i really like honestly is uh big team battle because i love the chaos it has basically every game type in it and it's just teams of eight there's going to be a lot of vehicles uh on most of the maps the maps are going to be for the most part pretty large uh you get things like exodus or, or i mean boardwalk or whatever freaking has a big team battle map and that's just freaking crazy uh and then custom okay so we didn't go over one of these and that is this one right here griff ball if you want griff ball you just gotta make come down here to game size uh i suppose you could do one one v ones in slayer yeah slayer so you can you can filter out the game size and it tells you what you can click you see i can't click these you can only do slayer 2v2s do Slayer as well as all of these. 4v4s, you can do everything except for Infection. And that's how you get Griff Ball. Griff Ball is you use energy swords and gravity hammers, and you just try to get a ball from the or a bomb from the middle of the court to the enemy side and blow up their base. And you spawn it, you have like four or five second respawns and and it's just it's fast paced rounds are short it's uh it's good for earning xp and blowing off steam because you really just get to smash stuff with a hammer you got eight player for free it specifically says free for all you got all these different things right here you can play and then 12 player free for all it's just infection 8v8 it's gonna be basically big team battle so and you know if you change the preset it'll automatically fit it to however many people it needs all right what else is there firefight matchmaking is how you're gonna earn points to level up you got your arcade which is uh, more casual uh, you see here it says all the oops, all the different maps you can play on and the game types if he has to fight, that sounds like it'd be pretty cool. I haven't done any of these yet. Uh, you see, you got frag fight, nade fight, uh, plasma fight, rocket fight, sniper fight. So probably everyone has sniper rifles, rocket launchers, plasma weapons only, stuff like that. Fiesta, I don't know. I guess he's spawning with random weapons. I have no idea. Um, heroic firefight is what I've been playing just because I want more structure. And this is basically, you have firefight, like 
with standard rules where you just survive waves that get harder and harder and then there's generator defense uh, which is harder and harder waves that you're trying to survive I think for like 20 minutes and there's three points that you have to make sure the enemies don't destroy oh, 30 minutes is what it says right here 30 both of these are four players only you can do four player co-op two person co-op and find two two randoms whatever you want to do uh, it's a good way to earn XP uh, and practice too because it's just there's nothing else in there you just wave after wave after wave and you see you can't edit anything in here yet oh let's see custom firefight okay yeah so here you can go through all the different uh, game types and everything I don't believe uh, you earn XP to level up and get your points though for that. I believe matchmaking is the only way to do that. Alright, options and career. You can access it from the main menu or in almost every other menu. So like multiplayer. It'll have it down here too. <sighs> season 1. So tells you what season we're in. You can see I'm almost to uh, tier 20. Basically, there's uh, 100 tiers, you unlock them one at a time, and every time you level up, here's your little level bar right here, This blue, it goes from light blue to white, see I'm almost there. Um, every time you level up, it gives you a point right here, and you use that point, and you click on the next thing. It'll say right here, confirm, I don't have a point right now, and it gives you whatever's in that package it tells you exactly what's in there there's no guesswork first thing you're gonna unlock are these three helmets next thing is this this is cool because in 2011 or 2010 you had to do something special I think with Halo Waypoint or something to get the military police helmet and then the recon helmet was only for special editions of the game so uh, it's really cool that they let you get those two helmets when before they're like really exclusive um, I had the recon back then so I'm really stoked that I could get this and it's so early too uh, that's probably my one of my favorite that's one of my favorite helmets that in the EVA and then you see here this is your default helmet tier 4 you get the uh, the one of the attachments and then see here the first level you get the C, uh, CQC helmet here's one of the attachments for it and this is uh, the CQB helmet you get one of the attachments for it uh, firefight voice so instead of the regular announcer that tells you what's going on it'll be the voice of this guy and there's several different ones too then you can start unlocking uh, elites uh, elite armors you can't customize them the way that you can customize your Spartan I'll get into that in a minute uh, this video I said at the beginning was going to be short and it's already up to 28 minutes so sorry about that there's just a lot more information than I thought anyways the lead armors you go one at a time you can't just pick and choose what you want it, you got to go in order but don't it they have it like this because it's just it's a nice layout in um, back in the day there was a you know it, I'll explain it later but it's it, it was different it was kind of sometimes it was kind of hard to tell when you unlock something anyways you know you'll get shoulder pads you'll get more attachments more helmets see another firefight voice it's June from the campaign more elite skins armor effects uh, and these affect you by the way more stuff there's Emil's voice for firefight visor color that's the first one you get at tier 43 more uh, Elite armors, firefight voice, elite armor, and then armor effects. That's June's uh, chest piece, by the way. Uh, anti dots, the AI that briefs you in some of the missions in the campaign. And you notice, like, so, like, it's not just this picture, but you see this little line right here. That means that there's a second thing that's also in that package. So, for one point, you get these, both these things, the, the, uh, the pestilence armor effect and the attachment for the EVA helmet 
earlier I saw this and I was like, well, where's the EVA helmet? And then I saw that and EVA, EVA helmet's right there. Uh, ar uh, shoulders, chest, armor effects. There's Carter and hit, there's his helmet right there. Another uh, visor color. And it works on every visor too. It's not just this one. It just shows that one because it's default. Then at tier 70, you get Emil and every possible attachment all in one go. Yada, yada, yada. There's the first recon helmet attachment. So all the way up here at 74, I believe you unlock that recon at, yeah, at rank 3. So there's that, 74. Uh, there's uh, George for hit firefight. Uh, so you see here you get... Uh, inclement weather armor effect and the field marshal elite armor gunnery uh, gunnery sergeant buck that's the uh, one of the guys from ODST he's and Halo 5 he's a Spartan a fourth generation Spartan he's probably my favorite non main character I just I like him his hair I believe he's Nathan Fillion right I'll have to look that up Anyways, uh, this is the infamous Flaming Skull armor effect. Gold visor color. Master Chief's helmet. You can actually get all of his armor. Uh, the Mark VI armor. Yeah, uh, here's Mark, or I believe we can get Mark VI. That's Mark V. Uh, anyways, security helmet. That's a, uh, I believe that was the third thing that you couldn't get without doing something special in 2010 so it's cool that they give that to you too even though it is tier 90 uh play a lot and you'll get there eventually and then some of these chess pieces uh yeah have have uh like cat's robotic arm uh, i don't know if this one does but this one definitely does so your right arm will be a, like a robotic arm this one does as well uh, here's more attachments. Cortana as the voice. Gunnery, uh, Sergeant Major Johnson. Uh, this was part of the exclusive thing where if you had like an exclusive Reach, uh, version of Reach or the Xbox or whatever, you got this along with the recon helmet. This is a, uh, uh, an elite armor, which is awesome, by the way. And then final tier, you get... Master Chief's voice in Firefight, which once you get that, you'll never want to change it. Trust me, it's just so satisfying to hear um, Steve Downs narrating your Firefight. You get the infamous Bungie Blue Flames, which is amazing that they, you know, that's no longer tied to just uh, Bungie employees because Bungie no longer <laughs> operates this. And uh, you, everyone can get it if you just get to rank 100. And then the spooky Skeletor mask, uh, where it shows the skeleton through the face shield. That's all the unlocks. All right. <laughs> Good God. We're at 33 minutes. All right. To customize, you got your first things first. I switched it up just a minute ago, actually. Like, literally, like right before I started this video. But you can choose male or female. They have slightly different builds. I was I, I did two firefights with female. I just wanted to, they make different sounds and stuff. Like you can hear them laughing when they get multi kills, like chuckling and stuff. I don't think they did that in the uh, original Halo Reach. Honestly, they just had like the grunts from when they landed too hard or got shot. But now like you know you assassinate someone and you'll hear your spark go, <laughs> which is pretty cool. You can give them a little personality, uh, especially since your Spartan's supposed to be hyper lethal. Uh, so I'd recommend going to this one first and then you can set your gender and then here's all your armors for your uh, elites like I said you can just it, you, you click one and it just changes it you don't get to change each individual piece but you got all of them right here and your colors will reflect as well. I don't think I don't know any way to turn your character, but 
you can change your colors and if you don't want to actually equip a color you just hover over it and it changes it come out like that and then boom it stays and then see you can change that too you can scroll slowly or you can grab it like this so you can look at stuff without equipping it in case you forget what colors you had originally and then so like that and it does do that on both so you see and I haven't even equipped those colors. Let me just go back. Boom, boom. Uh, and it'll show that on your Spartan too. So then you can choose, when people look at your profile, it'll show which one you choose here. So if you'll wanna be represented as a hulking eight, eight foot tall elite, you can, or you can just be a Spartan. And same thing for the colors here much more pronounced because it's like painted on whereas the elites is like part of the material it's just different all right then for your Spartans whenever you unlock new armor you'll see a little icon right here in the corner with an exclamation point showing that you've unlocked it and you can scroll down and see which one you got and you can preview all this stuff beforehand you see I've already got the ODST and you can preview all that good stuff um, but let's see I don't have any air assaults but you see I can still I can still look and see what it looks like so if you're really into custom customizing which you should be because this is the halo that did it the best there's no BS and uh, you know you could <laughs> you can even see what you'd look like with Master Chief's helmet and uh, I want to come down here pilot variations go ahead and see what haunted looks like on your character model happy friggin Halloween stuff like that uh, this is all your armors so you got that <laughs> and you can do that for every single one of these by the way so wrist you can see all the different wrist pieces And you can see uh, the different armor effects. So you got none, you got happy birthday. Whenever you die, I don't know if it does the yay thing, but it does do the confetti. Hearts, there's not that many hearts flying around you, trust me. But like while you're walking around, a little heart will pop off of you and you'll have like a little tiny trail of hearts. Yeah, like that. It'll fly away and then another one will fly in and do that too. Pestilence just makes this disgusting brown cloud and flies swarm around you and you're like dripping this freaking sludge <laughs> I don't know why anyone would want that inclement weather is cool because you got a cloud with lightning shooting on the ground it does not deal damage legendary you got your flaming skull and then you got your eternal blue flame uh, and then firefight voice oh there's no preview anymore Interesting. I used to be able to preview them. Anyways. That's your armor. Player ID. It just does a few little things here and there. Your emblem. You can change it up and change the colors of that as well. Avatar. This is a Master Chief Collection thing. This never used to be here. This is shown on your profile as well. You uh, you unlock avatars randomly as you're doing stuff in the Master Chief Collection. I have all these because I used to have the MCC on Xbox back when I had an Xbox, so I got all these doing that, basically. I don't even know which one I'm using currently. Master Chief <laughs> from Halo 1, okay. Uh, service tag. This is um, what shows up above your head when people when people on your team aren't looking directly at you. It's going to be three digits, and uh, I don't know. Can you make put letters in there? 
Yeah, you can. I just use 097 because I was born in 97. But you can put anything you want there, basically. You see a lot of people abusing that freedom, but I guess it's their choice. Uh, anyways, that just makes it easier if you're um, grouped up with someone. Because you're all going to be the same color when you're playing on teams. You're either going to be red or blue, and they can just see that in their peripherals instead of having to look at each individual person through a scope to see the name. Uh, your clan tag, this can be up to 15 characters long. You can have it whatever you want. I've just got mine as uh, my initials. I'm not in a clan or anything. And then your nameplate, this is new. This is the Master Chief Collection thing, uh, but you've got all the different nameplates. It's just like up here. It's like a calling card from Halo, or I mean Call of Duty. Um, and you get these from doing random stuff. I got this one for doing a thing of firefight, and I like it because it's purple. That's that. Nothing special. Uh, here's your career. So you can see I've, I've done everything in the Master Chief Collection. I've only got 30% completion, too. Uh, this game's been out for two days, and I've already got... I've, all, I've already surpassed three of the games four if you count this I don't even know what that is uh, but here you can see uh, the different achievements and stuff that you have yet to get campaign multiplayer and playlist uh, achievements oh wait there's something else in there your medals see yeah. <laughs> I've only got 96 medals uh, this tells you uh, what everything is so, if you get this, but you don't know how you got it in a, in a game, it tells you uh, right down here, wipe out an enemy team with at least an overkill. So, that's, uh, I guess, only in Halo 2? Oh, no, okay, okay. If it's, if it's, if it's grayed out, it's not in that game. But if it's not grayed out, then it's in all of them. I don't know why that has a different Halo 2 anniversary, I guess. I, I don't know. Uh, so that would be if you're playing 4v4 and you kill the entire team in 4 seconds, uh, you get that medal, Extermination. If it's 6v6, you have to kill the entire team in 4 seconds. Uh, you can see here, kill an air, kill 10 opponents within 4 seconds of each other. I've already got two of those. Boltrus, you know, that's stopping a uh, energy sword. A lunge, kill apocalypse, all these good things. And I believe the timer resets. It's not like that'd be impossible to get ten kills like that, but it's like you get two kills, and then you have four seconds to get three more or one more, then four seconds to get one more, then four seconds to get one more. Then four. so basically, if you get one kill every three seconds that's like over the course of 30 seconds so for respawns and stuff you got all these different medals campaign medals are I guess different but you can see oh yeah because you know you don't want to have all these showing up where I you know you've gotten a hundred enemies in a row without dying uh, showing up in your multiplayer so that's good You have custom games ones too, instead of just your regular multiplayer. That's cool. Playlists. I haven't done any playlists, so I don't have any of those. And then your stats. This will show you every one that you've played. No, I haven't done any. I don't think. Yeah. So you can see basically everything you've done and all the ones that you've played but if you're if you just have reach on the PC you can see all the different stuff here the uh, I've already put uh, almost 11 hours just into the uh, multiplayer got uh, all this stuff right here this is my favorite ha <laughs> weapon the gravity hammer <laughs> I guess that wouldn't be wrong I play I play a bit of griff ball too uh, and the race because I keep playing, I've been playing Invasion. I keep jacking the uh, the enemy's wraith, using it against them. 
Forge World. Oh, if you're having a problem where every time you try to load into a Forge World map, um, and it says something like you've gotten uh, an anti-cheat error or something, or it just you get a black screen. Uh, basically, what you, and you're playing on Steam, uh, go to Steam, right-click on the Master Chief Collection or Halo Reach or however you have it in there. Go to Properties. Go to Verify Game Files. Um, once it verifies game files, make sure that they're all done. If it says that two of them weren't done or something, do it again until they're all done, and then that problem should go away, because I was having that problem, which sucks, because I really like Forge World maps. Uh, I've gotten 85 medals in one game. I wish it would tell me what, what medals I got. And then you have all the different game modes. I've lasted uh, 435 seconds. All right, custom games. It's gonna have all that stuff too. That was me testing out if uh, if verify verifying the game files worked, and it did. Campaign. See, I've got nine hours here plus the eleven hours here. I've already got twenty hours in this game. Uh, favorite vehicle, Scorpion. Yeah, playlists. Boom. That's just all your raw stats. everything under career this my files would be where you have like your shell or fair file share so like custom game maps and stuff like that any uh, things that you've created yourself or you've saved from other people's creation settings is what it is all your regular stuff leaderboards You got your campaign leaderboards you see here uh, it has everyone's stuff how how they're uh, doing you can filter it out solo global you can have favorites uh, you should have friends too recent uh, friends see I'm the only one on my friends list so far that's done the campaign but uh compare this to how you've done I don't even know where my score is it's nowhere near this so I'll tell you that Your Pillar of Autumn is pretty high up on the list. Look at that. Oh. I wouldn't be on any of those because I played Heroic. I haven't played any of these on normal. There I am. Number 5,120. <laughs> so you see... I, Jeez, dude. That guy beat that level in 9 minutes? 48 seconds? And he got 177 kills. And he's got a multiplier of 18.22. I wonder how he did that. Interesting. That's a crazy... I feel like that's not not legit. He soloed that entire mission in less than 10 minutes. He got more kills than all these guys. With a high multiplier. Uh, it might be legit. I don't know. Anyways, I'm down here, 5,000 down the line. Look at all these guys. Anyways, there's that. Got your timing, playlist scoring, playlist timing, same stuff. All right. Is that it? Is that everything that everyone was asking questions about? We went over all the options and career stuff, all this stuff. Yeah, so in custom games you can choose what game type you want, all that stuff, specifically. That should be it. Yeah, that's it. So... Oh, inviting friends, by the way, you click on this thing right here, there'll be, uh, it'll have your list of friends here, it'll tell you their names, it'll show their little cards and everything, and then you, uh, there'll be a little icon by their name, you can just click on that, click invite, you can check out their player card, uh, it'll be like this, player details, stuff like that, pop up like this, you can see I have my rival as my friend here, 
He has Cortana as his. Uh, and I can invite him. He's not online right now. You can see his emblem here and his uh, ID. He'll reach invasion rank 2. What am I at? I wonder how he ranked up and I didn't, because I was doing better than him every time and I've only played it with him. Interesting. Oh, see, it tells you this too. Oh, okay, here you go. You can see uh, Tor 1. I don't know what that means. Unless there's like prestiging or um, it's counting, uh, that's the name of the season. I'm a chief warrant officer. Let's see how much experience you need. Boom, here's all this stuff again. Alright, and if you're on the main menu, like right here, it won't show that they're in your party. But as soon as you go into a lobby, or like a, a setup or something, they'll be, it'll be showing up right here. And anytime you go over, I mean, it's kind of, like, it's like, really close to stuff. Sometimes you'll hit that by accident. But tr trust me, it happens a lot. Um, but yeah, they'll show up underneath you. You don't have to hover over it or anything. Uh, anyways, I hope this video helped. Um, it is almost an hour long. Um, I know it's a ton of information, uh, but that's just how it has to be sometimes. Um, anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. I hope this helped you out. Um, help me out. Subscribe. That'd be awesome. You know, I try to con I try to reply to every comment right now. Um, I'm putting out a ton of videos. If there's something you want to see or you need to know, hit me up in the comments, and I will get back to you as fast as I can. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.